What is up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Here I am, back at the beach, casting for snook. I'm trying on artificial for a bit, but I do have some shrimp just in case. And the toughest thing about fishing in Florida is figuring out where you're going to fish. I've been trying to evade the weather. As you can see, it's very windy, cloudy. It's like raining either in the morning or in the evening, which is the two best times to fish for me. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of trying to figure it out. It's finally not raining, but it is way choppier and windier than last time I was here, if you don't remember. Uh, check out that video. It was beautiful out. So I'm seeing some little uh, snook in the surf, but tide is also low, so that's going to be a factor. So hopefully things kind of mellow out for a bit, and I'm just going to keep looking. <laughs> Nice one. Ah. <laughs> All right, pretty good. I just started casting too. All right, first snook of the day. I've only been casting a few minutes. Beautiful little beach snook. All right, thanks buddy. All right, so that's cool. That was like my third cast. So I'm, I'm, my guess was because it's so turbulent, as you can see, the snook might be a little easier to catch because they can't see me. It was the problem last time is they could see you so well. So I'm gonna keep casting up the beach, maybe head towards the jetties. We will see. It looks like there's an iguana on the beach. Yeah, that is an iguana. Check them out. Sun on the beach. You can hear me without too much of the, the wind and the uh, waves affecting you. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what I'm throwing. So, aside from these weeds here, I got the big Yuzuri on. I got two sizes. I got a smaller one and I got this one, depending on obviously how windy it is. So I put the bigger one on because it's a little windy. And uh, I've got 25 pound fluoro on. I've got a 2500 reel. This is just kind of my throwing setup. I've got two other bigger, beefier rod and reel setups. Uh, but it's just so I can try to get it out as far as I can. Uh, so yeah, and I'm just kind of throwing it. You know, most of the snook are within a few feet of the shore. So I'm just trying to, you know, cover ground basically. I'll cast for a few, a few times and then move on to the next spot because the snook are moving too. So the snook, are really moving probably because it's low tide they're trying to find you know a spot to feed in or whatever um, so I'm just gonna keep casting and keep moving and try to get on uh, a decent sized beach snook baby a little guy a little beach snook on the Yozuri once again That's two, even though it was little. All right, so I was trying to say this earlier, it's, it's trying to figure out, the hardest thing is trying to figure out uh, when to go fishing, early morning or evening, two best times, but a lot of times it's been raining for the past couple of months. It's the rainy season in Florida, which means it's every day, always raining. So trying to figure out where to go. I was hoping this would be the spot, and it's not raining, but it's very, very windy choppy not what I'm used to I've already caught two snook which is great because they can't see me I um, just wish it was a little bit more calm uh, yeah so anyway I'm throwing the Yozuri had luck on it so far and I'm gonna keep throwing it I see you trying to get in there well in case that's it um, 
I caught both my snook on the Yozuri. This one right here, Crystal Minnow 3D, the kind of the bigger size, just because I needed to get it out there a little further. Um, and uh, I got 15 to 20 pound braid, 25 pound fluoro leader. Um, I use different rods every time. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back, and as I walk back, I'm gonna keep casting, so maybe we'll get some uh, more snooks on the way. Got one, got one, baby. That was awesome. Little guy, but man. No live bait. All right, one little choke the, the no live bait needed. Little guy, but cool. All right, so that was really, really cool. Um, I didn't get where I wanted to go. I wanted to go down to the jetties, but it was really choppy, really windy, um, and it's pretty far walk. Um, but I, I caught a ton of fish. I think about seven snook, nothing huge. Uh, the deep, the biggest one was on the Yozuri Crystal Minnow. Um, I used the big one, which I showed you in the video, uh, just so I could get out there a little bit further. And uh, it was awesome. I caught two on that and then um, switch to the no live bait need a three inch thing. Just work like gangbusters, I would just throw it in. And what was kind of cool was doing it at night, um, I had to kind of feel what the lure was doing more. In the daytime, I was kind of fighting the wind and looking where I cast it, and you know, it could, you can kind of lose uh, touch with the lure, but at night, you know, you just kind of have to feel it. And I kind of got into a rhythm of how I wanted to retrieve it, kind of bounce it off the bottom a little bit, but keep it steady, and then every once in a while, a little jerk. And it worked like gangbusters. I mean, everywhere I went, pretty much, I, I caught a snook, which was awesome. Um, ran out of time, or else I'd still be out there because it was, it's not quite a full moon, um, but it's beautiful weather and it's bright enough out there um, and it's just gorgeous. So uh, I probably would have kept going if I had a little bit more time, but it is getting late. So I cannot wait to do this again. Again, it's all, I'm always waiting, waiting for the weather, whether it, hopefully it's not raining, just so I can film stuff. I don't mind fishing in the rain, but I want to be able to film it for you guys. I cannot wait to do this again. Uh, I will see you tomorrow.